it is complete. It took about half an hour to construct the exterior of it and probably another hour and a half um, putting together a little prototyping board that holds my Arduino Pro Micro and has a little wiring harness up there. There's also two capacitors on there. One's a decoupling capacitor and the other one is just for the LED lights so that they, you know, they don't have any issues. And I'll be posting instructions. I've taken lots of pictures. I'll be posting instructions online. Uh, these glow globes are a piece of cake to make. Like the glow globe, port, the cup portion of it, it's just a plastic cup stapled together. That took about half an hour. Uh, I just got to drill holes in the bottom of every one and stick the little lights inside. Not much more to it. Uh, the pattern I used is I started uh, at the top and worked my way around. That's actually the opposite. So there's four cups in a row and it just spirals around. If You, you can tell if you pay attention to the pattern here. The pattern is uh, being run through fast LED and it's using the color palette feature. Uh, just like the rest of my holiday lights decorations. And this uh, glow globe, I believe this is what they call it, is going to be hanging outside my house. Uh, I probably won't use these multicolored palettes. probably just going to stick with blue and white because that's all my other lights are blue and white. It looks nice that way. But man, is this bright and beautiful. And it's amazing. It's so cheap. I, I want to say these, uh, I paid like $11 for this set of lights and I got a whole bunch of them on AliExpress Singles Day. Uh, super duper cheap holiday light project and it didn't take long at all like I said probably about an hour and a half total and that includes soldering the uh, little prototyping board that my Pro Micro is on uh, and here's a tip if you're gonna be doing this staple two halves together like you normally would and just use paper clips to hold them together so that you can service it later and if you want to waterproof that Arduino in the middle just put it in a plastic bag and then use some electrical tape around it and you can put the power supply in there too, uh, again with just some electrical tape, and that should keep it fairly waterproof. Uh, and if it's outside in the winter, it's not going to you know, really afford with heat. It should be pretty cool outside, especially when this is on at night. And these don't get hot at all, for reference, they're you know, room temperature. Man, that looks wicked. It looks really cool. I'm very impressed with the uh, simplicity and the end result of this project.